online and on DAB Digital Radio. Helen Blavy, BBC Radio Northampton. Just gone 25 to 1. How far have you moved in order to find work? A think tank is suggesting the government should help the long-term unemployed with moving to another town if they've been offered a job there. But is it something that people should need help with? Isn't moving to where the jobs are just part and parcel of life? Or is it good to get a helping hand when moving? Which remains one of the most stressful things we'll do, after all. Paul Kuznikov is from Latvia and is a recruitment consultant in Northampton. He's worked with people who've moved countries to find work and he joins me in the studio. And, of course, you moved to find work. Hello. Yes, uh, that was a long time ago, back in 2001. It was a, a huge decision for me. Uh, I was uh, sort of uh, in Latvia. Um, I was looking for something better for for myself and for my family and uh, eventually I made the decision to move to the UK. It must have been a big decision to make because not only are you moving town, you're moving country and that's, this is a country where you don't speak the language. Yeah, of course uh, it's uh, always a big decision to move from the place where you live. Yeah, You have to think careful about that. You have to prepare, do a lot of homework uh, and uh, but uh, you have to be a sort of brave enough. At the end of the day, you know, when I was back in Latvia, uh, I had so many ideas but uh, absolutely empty pockets and I thought, well, I have to do something about it. So what were you doing in Latvia? Were you working? Uh, yes, uh, I was working. Uh, I had um, a, a family, you know, I was studying. I had a girlfriend. Uh, yeah, but uh, the thing is sometimes when you feel that you can't achieve what you're thinking about, uh, sometimes the time comes for you to make a, a big decision. You must have been incredibly ambitious then in order to leave behind your life there. And uh, I, did your girlfriend come with you or did you leave her behind as well? Uh, no, that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't come together with me. That must, that, so that's a big thing to do, to move countries and to leave everything behind. Uh, yeah, well, one, one of the things which uh, really, uh, when people come abroad, uh, from abroad, uh, they, they face quite a lot of uh, issues in this uh, country. And uh, uh, lack of family and friends is one of those issues as well mm. you have to face do you think the the british people the english people are, are lazy when it comes to finding uh, work uh, no i absolutely disagree with that uh, what i would say uh, i found uh, uh, people here in this country have got a very strong uh, ethic work ethic you know they're hard working uh, uh, and reliable but uh, like in any other country you've got a minority of people who make a bad name to majority mm. so uh, i would disagree that uh, british workers are lazy <laughs> <laughs> what's it like in latvia do people move around latvia to find work well, well uh, latvia is not a big country yeah and uh, normally you see that people tend to come from countryside to the capital city uh, but once again you when you talk about a country which just became independent, uh, you will have a lack of job opportunities, career development opportunities. And you, you sort of, uh, when Latvia joined European Union, uh, it opened just uh, such enormous uh, port of opportunities, which I've tried to utilize. Mm. So uh, we often hear uh, from people who perhaps don't understand what it's like, that people from uh, Eastern Europe are coming over here, taking the, the low paid, low skilled jobs that, uh, that British people could do. But it's not always the case, is it? You, you've got very skilled people coming over here just simply for the opportunities that are available here. Yeah, there is a multiple variety of examples. Uh, skilled people coming to this country and doing low-skilled job, but after gradually learning English, you know, setting up all the uh, contacts, I would say, and uh, preparing all the right documentation, learning the culture, the way we we do things around in here and after they move on um, as well we've got obviously people who come with low skills and they take low skilled uh, jobs in here but what I would say it's not about people who come from abroad and taking our jobs yeah it's all about the competition you know and uh, whether we are uh, people who live in here in this country you know ready to compete with with mm. other people now you help people find jobs that's what you do for a living do you find that people are willing to move around to 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 relocate if they want a job for the past few years uh, i saw an influx of uh, the uh, job applications from the um, local people uh, and they are more and more willing to uh, move uh, 
throughout the country. But what I would say, for example, when a person coming from abroad, it's not only about the person doing his homework. It's about getting that a little bit of help from someone, from a friend, from a relative, you know. And if the government is thinking about that, giving that uh, helpful hand uh, to those who are willing to move around in search of a better life, why not? Mm -hmm. You know, the time will show whether it's working or not. But I would agree with, with this uh, attempt to help people to move around. Did you consider other countries or was it only ever going to be England? Uh, well... Uh, I was thinking immediately about uh, England because my friends, they moved in here before me um, and uh, obviously they called me. I was thinking, uh, that was a long time ago, I was <laughs> thinking about going to the USA. But the thing is, uh, um, after staying in here uh, my first year, I, I found it. It's an amazing country, amazing country of opportunities. Mm. Well, you've been here long enough now. You've been here 13 years. Um, what, what is it like for, for school children in Latvia? Are you told that maybe think outside the borders of your own country? Are you told to maybe think big about this kind of thing? Um, I'll give an example. Um, I had a small brother uh, and uh, my mom and my brother, they moved to this country as well. Um, and, uh, you know, he completed his college now, he graduated, he's working as a chef, he's very, very happy. You know, he moved out from his mom's place and I'm very, very happy for him. He's moved up from his mum's place. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> if you had a piece of advice, maybe for a Brit wanting to move abroad, what should they do? What should they? What do they need to think about moving countries for work? First of all, you need to identify what actually do you want to achieve. What's your objectives? Yeah, and sometimes you have to be brave, brave enough uh, to to make that step. Because I understand it can be very stressful, but. Um, uh, you, you have to make a decision, mm. you know, and if there is a little bit of help coming from whoever it is, you know, it would be helping those people to make that decision. Um, I imagine that Latvian is very different to English when it comes to language. Uh, how quickly did you pick up the English? Yeah, well, obviously, uh, I strongly believe if you live anywhere in the world, in particular in the, in the UK, yeah, you, you have to learn... English, first thing, you know, the ways of life in here as well, so you can integrate, and I've tried to integrate as quickly as possible, because at the, at the end of the day, when you can um, uh, communicate to other people, that's where the opportunity is coming mm. from, communication. So learning the language is probably the most important thing you can do if you are considering moving abroad. Yeah, of course. Uh, and it's not only about the communication and talking to other people. Yeah, it's about the way who you are. You mm. know, it's uh, are, you, are you a good person? Are you a reliable worker? Are, are your ethics uh, of a high uh, degree? Then yes, you will always be successful. And as a recruiter, recruitment consultant. I know you've helped other people to move over here from abroad. Do they find a similar thing to you? Do they find um, that, that they need to learn the language and the culture? Do you help them with that? Yeah, uh, I every person who comes uh, to this country, I encourage them to learn English, you know, to uh, integrate into this society, because that's the way uh, to become uh, successful. But the thing is, it's it's not only because it's, well, we've got uh, eight years, uh, ten years since the European enlargement, you know, a lot of people already moved in here. So perhaps people are not coming in here as they were coming before, mm. you know, and it's more about working a lot with those people who are already inside of the country and it doesn't matter whether you're from Latvia, Estonia or from Wales or Scotland, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Why did you choose Northampton? Uh, it's my destiny, I would say. <laughs> uh, you know, my friend was my friends were in here, so I just followed that path. Mm. And do do most people choose somewhere other than London, or do do lots of people decide that they're going to move to London? Uh, well, uh, people uh, they they think about England or the UK as London. Yes. Yeah, but the UK it's not really all about the London. L London is a little bit like a different planet. You know, I've heard a lot of uh, good feedback about London, great opportunities, but at the same time London can be a cruel place and a bit expensive as well. So um, I choose to come to Northampton, you know, and I love this town. Mm. Paul, it's been nice to meet you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you very much. Paul Kuznikov, who moved here from Latvia. Bernie Keith, BBC Radio Northampton.